question. So, um, always check out those other signs and see what resonates for you in the end. It could be just a sign, a symbol, a nugget, um, a number that brings clarity to what you're wondering, or it could be a big bushel. See what feels right in you. We're all beautiful children of God and we're all psychic. We just get our info differently. So sometimes we have to clean off our antennas or adjust our frequency and then we can see things more clearly because spirit is always on our side. So um, Aquarius, just remember in the end to always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions that are based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody involved in the situation and their situation and their situation and so on. I'm laughing. I'm still in this weird incline in the yard. I think that's okay. All right, so Aquarius, let's see what we have for the week. Remember, how you ride these energies in the end is always up to you. So see what feels right inside of you and your own divine connection to spirit. I want to begin with an oracle card. So let's see what God, Holy Spirit, energies of love have as wisdom to begin for Aquarius this week for the 8th of the 14th of July 2016 and or if this comes to you another time just see if it works see if it resonates for your story anyway sometimes time is weird and videos pop up on the side and if you click them accidentally, sometimes there's something provided in that for you at that time. So see, see how it feels, Aquarius. Um, one card to begin for Aquarius. A leg up, a leg up. So there's these like a big mama polar bear and a little baby polar bear. And you know, little baby polar bear got tired. So he or she is climbing on the back of the big mama and taking a little rest slash having an awesome ride on you know over the snow over the um over the cold time i want to say so this is allowing yourself aquarius to receive help allow somebody to give you a leg up allow somebody to give you a ride somewhere if they offer don't say no 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 i'm fine i got it and then you're like dialing and nobody's answering i should have taken that ride let somebody help you this week let somebody um open your arms open your arms this is interdependence but no man is an island this is also one of those i'm getting so many like student teacher teacher student things so perhaps sagittarius is an influence and capricorn is an influence for you i feel like i did slip and say Aquarius in their videos. So perhaps there is an energy mix between those signs or this part of the zodiac. Um, but this is the when the student is ready, the master will appear. Or you can look at that both ways. When the master is ready, the student will appear. Um, this is understanding that we need each other so that we can grow whether you're the student or the teacher or the master or the novice, you need to allow yourself to change, allow yourself to grow, allow yourself to learn, allow yourself a little bit of help from something that maybe you didn't know as much about that you thought you did, or that you feel a little naive going into and you already know you don't really know what you're doing and you feel a little bit intimidated. If big mama bear comes around and offers you a little help this week, Whoever that feels for in you. You might not know her or him yet, but when they come about, you will know they are the master mama bear. Allow them to help you. Allow help from somebody who might be bigger than you or have more power than you or have more knowledge than you. Allow them to help you. See where it takes you. Allow yourself to see and enjoy the ride. All right. Um, Let's pull a numerology card for Aquarius. One card for this week. Wisdom for Aquarius. Allowing help. Finding the right teacher. Remember, I, I feel like I want to say this, Aquarius. Remember, if you're in the position of a student and you're looking for the correct teacher for you, always feel it out and see what feels right for you. Every teacher doesn't have to be 
the complete expert in everything. They can have traits and points that are beautiful and helpful to you, even if they're not perfect. Um, but I also want to mention that a good teacher won't ever make you believe something, make you do something, make you think that that's the only way. Um, they will guide you to find it for yourself. They will guide you to find your own truth and they will allow you that space and that freedom to be your own beautiful being to do so. It's never an authoritative whip. You have to because of this. It's not that. A true teacher leads you the way you need to go and helps you perhaps with lessons along the way. Perhaps it's not a nice even ride, but you're going to gain and you're going to um, layer on what you can handle and um, have instincts towards in the future. So don't rush into learning something. Allow yourself to learn lesson by lesson, layer by layer, and allow yourself to learn. Make sure you're learning from a teacher who allows yourself to find your own way. Did that make sense? I think that made sense. Okay, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting sidetracked, so let's go with a numerology card for Aquarius. Health, 71. So, listen to your body. I want to say take care of you first. Heal yourself first. Heal your space first. Um, so that you can allow healing towards others. I want to pull another card. One more card for Aquarius. Perhaps healing is a big component in the week. Um, follow your dreams, Aquarius. Follow your dreams. Follow your heart. Follow your truth. Follow what you know is right. 85. So it's a 12. It's also a 3. So it, I think of completion and I think of creativity. Um, I think of like a rose heart chakra, so sweetness and innocence in how you follow your dreams. Be sweet to yourself this week, I want to say. And I, I keep seeing this like aqua color and wanting to, um, like, I don't know, you have like, <laughs> you have like the polar region here and then I see like the turquoise waters or like the Adriatic Sea in this card. So. Perhaps you live somewhere by the Adriatic Sea and that's going to be healing. I also want to say that maybe salt water, even if you're not by the sea, perhaps salt water is healing for us because even in the polar region, it's salt water. Um, so I know when I was at the beach camping recently and I got a couple bug bites, I just went into the ocean and they didn't itch and they went right away and it was very healing. Um, the salt pulls out toxins and re-energizes your body and maybe go to the sea maybe just get some Epsom salt and soak in that in the bath and have a nice like bath time with the salt perhaps that's a good healing method for you um, it pulls a lot of toxins out spiritually physically emotionally everything so also physically like bodybuilding and like working out your muscles it's very very good for you so salt in general, salt water. I mean, you can go to the water that's fresh too, but I would say take a salt water bath. All right, let's get to the reading. I have the medieval, I feel like I have to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> it's two. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Sometimes my allergies kick up when I'm outside and I get like all kinds of crazy watery eyes and sneezing and I sneeze every time I come out and I look at the sunshine by the way in the beginning. So sometimes I put on my makeup and then I walk outside and it's just running all over my face right away. So I just have to go with that hot mess look sometimes. <laughs> all right, so let's continue for Aquarius. What do we have? One card for following your dreams, health, a leg up. Queen of Wands, so finding your passions, or this is a fiery, calm, sexy, confident woman. 
around you. It's a fire sign, so it's a feminine fire sign. She's like standing on this like crazy lion bear rug, and yet she has the same color like kitty on her lap, just sleeping. It's like she has the like mini me version of the beast, and both are just tamed or okay around her, and she's confident and holding her rod with confidence. And it's like a flame with big roses. So there's passion and things that unfold from what she creates. She is also sunflowers behind her. And I see two. I know I love this. I love this deck. There are so many little weird things that I discover in this, in these weird pictures. I'm so glad I grabbed this for us. So look at, so she has this like lion skin rug, right? that she's standing on barefoot, so she's grounded. She can feel the earth, she can feel the passion. She can feel this passionate energy. Then there's this ray, like golden um, row of sunflowers behind her. So the sun shines and grows around her. And then there's these two little baby bassinets. Can I focus this? You see there's like a little black baby and a little white baby. And she loves them both. She loves them both. This is so awesome. She just is taking care of all the babies in the world. Anything that comes to her, she takes and she inspires and she nurtures and she helps them grow. And she helps everybody follow their dreams, no matter who you are, no matter where you came from. If you go to her, she can help you. She's there. And she also looks pretty sexy with her cleavage all out. So she's like, I want to say like a hot mommy to have if you have this around you. You've got a hot mommy in your midst. So good for you guys. Oh, I didn't mention this is also a possible Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries woman. It could be a guy. It's a general reading. It could be a guy. I want to pull another card. She also follows her emotions because there's a moon on her chair. So she rides her emotions. She rides her passions. She's calm. She lets things come to her. She doesn't create drama unless she's in a bad mood, maybe. You know, so don't create any drama. Just let things be. Let things come to you, Aquarius. Or if this is somebody in your life and you don't have a lot of fire in your chart, um, I would say she would be very helpful for whatever you're wondering, concerned about. Perhaps she can help you really tap into what your dreams actually are. Because that's what this woman is wonderful at. It's not that she tells you what your dreams are. It's that she's so inspiring by being who she is that she inspires you to find who you are. So look for this woman in your life. She'll help you find who you are. She'll help inspire you to follow your dreams. Perhaps this is the big mama bear giving you a leg up. Um, let's pull another card, Aquarius. Three of Wands. So working together passionately, um, creating something, creating something new, taking different energies around you and starting something beyond the idea and beyond the decision in the powwow to do so. This is the going for it and having a lot of fire to do it, whether you're starting at the bottom or you're at the top and there's people coming along with you. You have the tools you need, you have the ropes, you have the support around you holding you down. If you fall, you'll get back up. You've got your boys, you got your girls. And there's like this, I wanna say like lilies or bells. Like they're, listen for the bells, listen for the sounds, listen for the ringing, listen for the notes that are in your frequency to help you out. Listen for who sings your tune. I feel like these are, I mean, it's it's a vine, but I feel like that's music around you guys. Listen for the music around you, maybe lyrics and music while you're working. Whistle while you work, maybe. Um, they also have these pretty awesome moccasins on, so ground yourself in the earth, feel the earth, build something stable and solid, and you're going to be seen for the awesome work you do. Let a little help come into your world. And I'm gonna show you the bottom of the card quick and then I have to go. So you have the seven of wands and this is knowing you have the higher ground. There's the clover of luck around you. And I feel like in this card, <laughs> there's all these different energies going on. This guy's playing tennis, this guy's going to the store, this guy's sad about this. They all have their own drama and you're just like, peace, I'm out. I'm done with the drama and there's something better for me. So. 
I hope this was helpful, helpful to you guys, and I'll see you soon. I love you. Bye, Aquarius. Mwah.